The wild boar is a member of the large pig family native to Europe, Asia, and Africa. The warthog, also known as the humpback boar, is native to the African continent and is the largest member of the boar family. Warthogs can stand anywhere from 60 centimeters to 1.5 meters at the shoulder and weigh up to 300 kilograms. The humpback boar is primarily covered in reddish brown fur and has a scruffy appearance. They are particularly characterized by the sharp teeth on their skulls and their horn-like, protruding tusks. Their tusks can be used as tools for combat or to protect themselves. They also use their tusks to dig into the ground to find small animals and insects. Hog boars have a very nasty personality. They are sensitive, wary, and can exhibit threatening behavior to protect their territory. The humpback boar is basically an omnivore, eating mostly plant food, although it is also a carnivore. They forage underground by digging roots and burrows, and their diet includes nuts, berries, and vegetables. Warthogs are good swimmers and can dive for long periods of time, often covering themselves in mud to regulate their body temperature. Humpback boars live in groups. They socialize in groups of males and females and reproduce in groups. Young live with their mothers until they are four months old, then move on to live with other warthogs as they grow. The humpback warthog is one of the few animals that are suitable prey for carnivores. However, it is one of the animals that are protected to maintain the balance of the ecosystem. In particular, they are endangered by development and human industrialization. The humpback warthog was familiar to us for its unusual tusks and as Pumba from the Lion King. A gentleman in Antarctica, wearing a black tuxedo. Emperor penguin. They live on the Antarctic Peninsula, where they can shelter from the wind and live on solid ice that is not in danger of breaking up. They live in groups about 18 kilometers from shore, choosing places close to ice cliffs and icebergs to shelter from the wind.
The emperor penguin lives up to its name and is the largest species of penguin in existence. They average 110 centimeters in height and weigh between 22 and 45 kilograms. Males are slightly larger than females, but they lose a lot of weight while incubating eggs and raising their chicks. The beak is about 8 centimeters long, and the outer surface of the wings is black, while the rest of the belly and inner surface of the wings are white. It is characterized by a distinct black and white border, with a vivid yellow back and a pale yellow breast. The upper bill is black and the lower bill is pink, orange, or lilac. This variety of body colors has given them the name of the emperor penguin in a tuxedo. When young, however, emperor penguins are covered entirely in silvery gray downy fur, with a black head, ears, chin, and neck and a white face. The emperor penguin can swim up to 11 kilometers per hour and dive to an incredible depth of 533 meters. Their dive time is about 18 minutes. Their diet consists of fish from the Southern Ocean, but they also eat crustaceans like krill and mollusks like squid. Emperor penguins are the only animal in Antarctica that overwinters. They form colonies in March and April and lay eggs in May and June, when colonies can range in size from a few dozen penguins to thousands. After the female lays her eggs, she heads out to sea to stock up on food, and the male carries the eggs on his feet. During the two to four months of incubation, the male does not eat anything except snow for hydration. Hundreds of egg-carrying males will circle each other closely and slowly, switching places with those on the outside as their body temperature drops to keep the entire group warm, a process known as huddling. The gestation period is about 64 days. When the chicks hatch, the male penguin feeds them by vomiting the digested food in his stomach. About 10 days after the chick hatches, the female returns to feed it in the same way. From then on, the males and females take turns going out to sea to hunt for food. At 40 to 50 days of age, both parents go out to sea to hunt for food, and the remaining chicks form a group and play huddles. After a year, the entire colony is out at sea. In Antarctica, seals, orcas, and gulls are their natural enemies. Gulls attack eggs and chicks. Once the chicks are furred and large enough to be raised in groups with other chicks, thieving gulls become their biggest enemy. When a chick is attacked, several other adult penguins will rush to its defense, pecking and screaming to repel the gulls. Emperor penguins are highly nurturing animals. If an egg breaks or a chick is lost and freezes to death, the penguin that lost the chick will try to raise it by taking a chick from another penguin. In doing so, however, the eggs are often broken and the chicks that fall to the ground are crushed by the large size of the adult penguins. Even if they do succeed in taking the chick away, the chick's chances of survival are very low. This is because each penguin family has a distinctive call that they share, and chicks and parents communicate by sound and they may not remember their chick's call or recognize the chick that was taken. If they think a chick is not theirs, they will abandon it and leave. So, there you have it, the emperor penguin, Antarctica's national animal. For more animal documentaries, subscribe to Alpaca World TV.